Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so today we're gonna play a really cool game that I have seen um, just tidbits of uh, because I didn't want to spoil anything, but I, as soon as I seen this game, I was like, oh my god, I have to play this game. Um, it is called This Bed We Made, um, and as far as I understand it, you're like in a hotel, you're like a maid or something, and it's set in... God, I don't know what the time frame is. It's like, I want to say like 50s, 60s, maybe somewhere in there. Like, it's pretty early back and um, there's like, I think a murder or something happens. I don't know. I don't know. I, I know very little because that was intentional. But, um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So it's another one of those kind of story based games. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy those. Um, so I'm excited for another one. So let's do it already. This game takes account of all of your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate and the fates of others around you. Oh, proceed with caution. Oh, shit. Okay. I suck at these. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay, that's fine. No problem. No problem. Black and white. Okay. Who's this? Oh, is this oh, us? Miss. Let's keep moving. Move Sophie. Okay. Oh, whoa, that's weird that you can only like move certain ways. Also, sorry, my I'm letting my cats. They're being really needy today, so I just decided to let them in. But hopefully they don't. It's on your right. Here. They aren't too bothersome. Oh, whoa, the camera angle's so weird. Uh, like I can't I literally can't turn it much more than this, but it's so that you can see everything, I guess, huh? Oh, cool. Here we are. Good luck. Thanks. What do I what do I need good luck for? She's all yours, sir. Hi, how's it going? Sophie Roy, Ooh. I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Hi. Let's see. Twenty one years old. Working mm -hmm. at the Clarington for over a year. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care mm. of her. No father? No. It's always just been me and my mom. Mm. All right, Miss Roy. I need you to tell me everything that happened. Starting Maybe like with the 40s? Got it. Oh, I'm so excited! It looks so good! Like, for this being, I think, an indie developer, like, this is, looks so clean. Sophie Roy. Okay. Ah! What an intro! Beautiful! Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm excited! So I wonder if we're... Obviously they're speaking English, but I wonder if... Are we in France, maybe? Documents done. Now just a bit of tidying up, and I can go on break. Okay. Oh god, we move a little fast. She's humming cute! Okay. What is that? What is this? Hold to clean. Okay, mittens, stop. You can't be on the mic. <laughs> cleaning, 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 I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning, we're cleaning. I don't know how you know when you're done. Oh, are we done? Okay. Good enough, okay. Put back. Mittens. Like I said, they're a little needy today. <laughs> if you guys ever wonder why I have like little baby scars here on my on my shoulder it's because it's always her that's the shoulder that she favors she likes to uh she likes to climb up well not climb but likes to hold on to my shoulder but she's got sharp claws so she always puts holes in my shoulder all right so i don't know if there's like a list or something that we what does this say? Inspect. I'm guessing you've seen better days. But you're obviously oh. still important to someone. Oh, oh, I love the animation. Oh, that's cool. 
Okay. Jeez. Looks like these have been through like a fire or something. Huh. Okay, make the bed. So, pull that up. Okay. I know how to make a bed. <laughs> oh, place pillows. Where are the pillows at? What's that? That's a lot of money to owe. Hey. Okay. What did you get yourself involved in? Acknowledgement of debt. Okay, so we're in the 50s. Late 50s, early 60s. Okay, so I understand. Okay. Hmm. Weird. So, oh, what happened to my radio? Hmm. Only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? Hmm. What's this? You know me. You know my family. You've had a seat at our bar since the day we opened in 1949. There, you are more than a friend to us. You pr you're practically family. And while friends are polite to each other, family deserves more. Family deserves honesty. As such, I wanted to be direct as possible in letting you know that you that you are down to your last chance. The eight thousand dollars. Oh shit! You owe us plus twenty five percent interest is now eight months overdue. Oh no, my patience is worn thin. This isn't like one of your unpaid bar tabs. You came to us for help, and help always comes at a price. We've opened our pockets to you time and time again, and you'll be done. And all you've done is t has taken advantage of our goodwill and our generosity. We'll come over. We'll come over in person to make our collection tomorrow. We'll bring along the boys, <gasps> so we can sit down and have a little chat. Oh no! But just so you know, they aren't too good with words. Oh shit! <coughs> oh crap oh, I got cat hair stuck in my throat oh no that's not good um Mr. and Mrs. Mapleson regretful as we are to have to uh, resort to these lines of the communication our clients and our in your neighbor the owner of the 88 of 88 32nd Street has been ultimately evasive of our many attempts to reach out and collect our due debts. Oh, so he has a lot of debt. A lot of debt. Specifically an amount owed to us in the sum of... Oh, no! Another $1,900! Jesus! You have uh, given us little recourse, but to contact... Uh, he has given us little recourse, but to contact him through those in close to physical proximity to him in hopes that he can deliver the message on our behalf. We have little desire to disturb you and the other fine um, citizens of the 32nd Street, but our business may bring us back to your neighborhood, if not resolved quickly. To help your kind communi community would, uh, would be gratefully appreciated for us and certainly for your neighbors. Oh boy. Ha. Oops, that's not what I want. Wow. Okay. Damn. Dude's got a lot of debt. So do you think that he's um, here because he's like on the run from all of the debt? Ooh, it's snowing outside. That's cool. Can I turn the radio off, by the way? My god. Be gone with you. It's a horrible noise. Um, okay. Interesting. Okay, we got our pillow. Let me put that back. Pilo. Pilo. Okay. Cool. What's this? Anything in here? I'm gonna be a little slow to start with because I'm just checking things out. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> like, I don't know what the point of the game is, so. Ooh, food. I haven't eaten today, so I'm, I'm starving. <laughs> oh, breakfast food sounds so good right now. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my god, look at these prices! Holy shit! Everything's so cheap! Oh my god! Ugh! Those are the days gone. Oops. I'm gonna do that a lot. Oh, man. You brought your own mug? Oh, cute. Well, I guess ours aren't quite as complimentary. Right? That one does look better. Oop. I'm just snooping away. <laughs> I 
love how I'm just like, I'm the cleaning lady and I'm like, what you got in here? I'm gonna read all your letters, I'm gonna do all these things. Can we fix the mirror or is that a, is that a no? Okay. Um, do we need to clean the bathroom? Why is the, what is that about? We can't clean it because the, we'll move the cloth, silly. Hmm, okay, that's weird. Do we need to, oh, yuck. Yuck! Clean! Be gone, stains! You are not welcome here! Do we need to clean that or is that okay? It just leaves, okay. Get out of here. And voila! It is new. Clean the toilet, good, I'm glad I didn't have to do a close-up of that nastiness, I appreciate that. Oh, I thought it was not gonna work. I was like, is it haunted? <laughs> Are you haunted? Okay, so they just don't want anybody looking in the mirror. You notice that this mirror was down too. That's very ominous. What is that about, I wonder? Hmm. Okay. I guess that's it. Everything in here, right? We got this closet over here we can check out. What is this? Is this a do not disturb? Oh. Please clean this room. Do not disturb. Okay. There's a red scarf. Don't need that, I guess. Oops. I was looking in there. Anything else? Nothing? Okay, now you can close. What is this? What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess we've done our job. It looks clean. We shall leave. Take our leave. Oh, you have to hold it. Oh, uh, I see. Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's a very large doorknob. Oh, how ominous. What the fuck was that? Hello? Wasn't a gunshot, was it? Ooh, mysterious. I can think of someone who'll feel right at home. Look at her, always glued to that gossip. Excuse you, bitches! I can hear you. <laughs> I would have been. Excuse me. Wife is that doll? You need to get your excitement somewhere. <laughs> <gasps> You're so fucking rude. Dude, I would have fucking smacked the shit out of him. This is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about. Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up with mm. Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you Oh. I was in love with you and I couldn't see. Oh. Oh no, our keys! We forgot our keys. Oh shit. Okay. Hello. To hear Sophie's thoughts. Oh. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Okay. We can do that. Mm. What's this? Now's not the time to pick up smoking so Oh, is that what that is? Oh, you're right. Don't do that. Tempting, Coffee. but every penny adds up, Sophie. Oh, very sen sen sensual. Sensual? <laughs> Sensible. <laughs> okay. We got the newspaper. 19 arrested in the Deviat Raid? Deviat? Deviat Raid. Mmm, arrested 19 persons in an early Saturday raid at Manny's Lounge. Manny's Lounge. Located in Stanley Street, downtown Montreal. Um, the establishment owned by Emmanuel... That's another, that's a word I'm not gonna... Uh, Lilibrate? I don't know. Is known as the hangout for sexual deviants. Oh, no! 
How could they? The Montreal City employee, a court office official, and two teachers have, were among those seized, according to the... Oh, Jesus. Were ac- according to the official reports. Lieutenant uh, Sylvian Golbolt? Golbolt? I'm so sorry. I'm butchering all these names. Says he plans on sending letters to the schools to uh, schools employing to oh, the arrested teachers. Oh no! School principals, parents, and fellow teachers should prevent um, such people from being in close contact with the youngsters. Oh Jesus! He said uh, it is everyone's responsibility to protect our children. Oh wow! Lieutenant also promised an investigation would be opened. On the on La Librette, um, who already had a criminal record um, to his name. Major storms paral- uh, paralyzes the city. Montreal is paralyzed by the winter's filth, by winter's fifth and most important snowstorm. Important? Fifteen inches of snow are expected to uh, until the end of the day. The last major storm back in January would cover the city within twelve inches of snow. The storm started yesterday with six inches falling during the day and six more during the night. Violent winds created giant snow banks all over the city. Many drivers ignore, ignored police warnings and decided to take their cars at their own risks, resulting in several accidents. Trains of uh, the United States are expected to, to be laid by th- three hours. Are we in Canada? Is that where Montreal is? Yes. Okay, Montreal is in Quebec, Canada. Okay, that makes sense on why it was like the French. Yes, okay. Um, burr, 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 burr. Uh, most departures have been canceled while arri- arrivals are delayed or diverted other altogether. Shop owners against mental hospital. A group of downtown Montreal businessmen and sho- shopkeepers with uh, Mayor Sut. Sarto Fournier uh, last week to air their grievances concerning the city's uh, resistant or res- recent decision to allow construction of a new mental hospital. Why are they against a mental hospital? Well, our customers feel safe to come down t- downtown for their shopping uh, needs knowing they're lunatic lunatics oh my god what the fuck will our customers feel safe to come downtown with their shopping needs knowing that lunatics next door oh my god what the fuck is wrong with you people what the hell the hell what does this say what stop worrying and save your marriage what the fuck (laughs) indispensable aid to marriage hygiene what Millions of women use it regularly to safeguard their beauty and avoid undesirable surprises. It's preventative and effective, even in the presence of organic matter. Liss oil today? Is that what it is? Liss oil? Worrying about your hygiene and focus on the more important things, such as pleasing your hardworking husband. Oh, my God! Uh, has endorsed for many, oh, uh, more than 60 years of scientists, medical professionals, and many other men who have women's hygiene at heart. Oh, great. I love when men's, when the men's get together to create hygiene products for women. Boy, howdy. God. Uh. Poor Nicole. No one should be stuck mm-hmm. cleaning up the reception Nicole. hall after a bow, um, even if they did draw the short straw. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hello? Are you hey, Beth? Beth? Beth. <gasps> cool. <gasps> Hi. So, who's sleeping? Huh? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone. Oh. So I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, mm. it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. <laughs> Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. Literally. <laughs> they weren't kissing. I tried to ignore them. Um. Oh, I try not to pay attention to them. I just find the sucking noises hard to ignore. Yeah. <laughs> but that won't be an issue today, of course. Every oh sound God. is being drowned out by the phone's constant ringing. Mm. Because of the storm? You have no idea. You're the only person I've talked to today that hasn't mentioned the blizzard. <laughs> Until now. Oh. Sorry. Nah, it's alright. 
I guess I'm just looking for something else to talk about. Anything else. Mm -hmm. Um, I can tell you about Wendy and Jaquise. Jaquise? Uh, we shouldn't talk too much. Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not shitty chatty. Gossip about Let's Jack fucking and Wendy. go. <gasps> How dare you not lead with that? <laughs> What's going on? Um, when you called, I wasn't whispering because they were making out. They were fighting. Oh, this is entertaining. Oh my god. I mean, oh no. Why? Oh no! <laughs> I'm not completely sure, but it sounded like Linda had something to do with it. Ugh, that bitch. Mm. That, trust me, she bitch. deserves it. Mm. Why does everyone hate Linda? That is, uh, that's it for today's scoop. Jacqueline is to blame. Why I don't get hate why Linda? everyone hates her so much. Linda's always nice to me. To you, maybe. But she's just the worst to every girl she perceives as a threat. A threat? Mm. A threat to what? I, understand. I don't know. Her place as Bernard's right hand, I suppose. So, you're saying I'm not a threat? I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying Linda thinks that. Mm. But that's her mistake. Mm. I know there's more to you than meets the eye. Oh, I love oh. the animations. It's very good. <laughs> Thanks. Oh! So, Why do I feel like there was a little... Um, you said you needed me? My help. <laughs> you know? Oh, right. Wanna guess why? Uh, something to clean? <laughs> I'm guessing there's something I have to clean? Obviously. But what is it? Uh... Oh, did no. Did kid throw up again? Ew. God, no. <laughs> did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. Oh! Too. Oh! While I was cleaning some of no! it. Uh, I'm no! I'm gonna stop you right there. No, no, you're done. Keep talking, <laughs> and you'll be cleaning up after me too. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sorry. Oh Jesus. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way oh. out of the hotel. How did we miss that? <laughs> That's it. I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk. Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Oh my god, oh, I love her. We can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. <laughs> anyway, I have to get back to work. Oh There's my a god. There's a supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. Okay. I'll see you around. Amazing. Manager's office. Okay. Oh, we have a journal. Oh, okay. Hold on. Wait, go back. Go back. Oh, haunted hotel. That's what I'm saying. Some days I'm convinced that the Clarington is haunted. I'm not, uh, it's not that I believe in ghosts normally, but there have been too many incident, incident, incidences, Jesus Christ, for me to rule out the possibility completely. Just this morning, I was, uh, waiting, oh yeah, at the elevator on the fifth, uh, fifth floor when I heard a loud bang behind me, like someone shutting a door, but with more force than I'd ever heard a person use. I looked around and there was no, uh, there was no one to be seen. Am I just imagining things? Trouble in Paradise, I overheard Wendy and Jaquise, 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 I don't know, um, arguing in the break room. From the sound of it, Linda got uh, got to Jaquise's head and convinced um, him that Wendy was flirting with some of our other guests. I can't believe it. Anyone who's been around the, um, for more than two minutes could see that uh, how much Wendy loves Jaquise. She would never do that to him. Beth's banter. Even if it's only a few minutes a day, my chats with Beth are always a highlight. Dude, I agree. She called me up to clean a mess uh, made by one of our guests, which gave us a chance to catch up. I don't think I've met someone who makes conversations seem so effortless. Beth is a witty response. For, she has a witty response for everything. It's too It's too bad maids don't aren't usually allowed in the lobby. Chatting with her every day would be great. Day just start my morning oh my god i feel like there's definitely there's something brewing there's something brewing i'm just gonna call it now 
Um, Beth has been at the hotel and the re hotel's receptionist for as long as I can remember. In fact, she was the first face that welcomed uh, me when I took my first steps inside the Clarington. She knows this place like the back of her hand. Beth can be fiery, which doesn't win her much love from Bernard, but other guests, but most guests adore her for her majestic personality. Or excuse me, magnetic. Majestic, magnetic, you know. And that's something Bernard can plainly see. We don't get the chance to chat as often as I would like, um, but when we do, it's always a blast. I only wish that I had uh, even half of her wit so that I could entertain her as much as she entertains me. Cute. Bernard. Bernard is the Clarington manager, the big boss. He spends most of his days locked in his office and doesn't like the maids roaming around the house. Or ro <laughs> roaming around the house. Roaming around outside their posts, so our paths don't cross often. Lately, he's been hell-bent on getting the hotel back in shape, whatever that means. And there has always, uh, there has been a lot of changes around here as a result. He's enforcing employee rules more strictly than ever and dropping God knows how much money on renovations. The stress is practically re radiating off of him. Linda. Linda is uh, Clarington, Clarington's governess, Bernard's second, hand, uh, second in command. It's easy to see why she rules over the maids like an, uh, with an iron fist, always ready to enforce Bernard's latest rules to the letter. Most of them hate her for this, but my feelings are a bit more mixed. For mo whatever reason, she seems to have a soft spot for me. The same cannot be said for Wendy, unfortunately. It's like she's made it her life's mission to break up Wendy and Jaquise's relationship. I'm worried that her latest efforts may have succeeded. Okay, so this is Wendy. Wendy is a wa waitress at the hotel's restaurant. She and her friend Yvette um, were hired together and they used to be inseparable until three or four months ago. It's no coincidence that that was around the time Wendy started talking, dating Jaquise, uh, the bellboy. Ah, uh, the bellboy. <laughs> To whom she's now happily engaged. Oh, okay, that is, depending on who you ask. Linda seems to think that Wendy is with, um, Linda seems to think that Wendy is the Clarington's radiant, a oh, resident flirt. Sure, she's popular with the guests and collects most of her tips by, collects most tips, the most tips by far, but I've always chalked it up to the same thing that she, that is drawn me to her the warm smile and that just radiates kindness linda's not convinced though it seems that is taken upon herself to expose wendy for who she really is right jealous much i know that's what i'm saying jacques uh is one of the clarington's bellboys i don't know much about him he's even more shy than i am barely looked up uh at guests when carrying their luggage people like us just need some someone to bring us out of our shells, and apparently for Jaquees, that person is Wendy. He likes to, a completely different person around. He's like a di completely different person around her. He laughs, he lights up, he cracks. He even cracks jokes. I was so happy when he found Wendy, and even happier when he proposed. They're like a Clarington's very own Janet and Tony. Aw, cute. But it seems their engagement is uh, in peril thanks to Linda's meddling. Stand strong, Jaquise. Don't fall for her manipulation. Oh, we have family too. Mom. Oh, no fa no picture though. Okay. Mom, uh, as always, well, but, uh, but life hasn't dealt her the best hand of cards. She doesn't talk to me very much about her time as a nurse during the war, but I've always wondered what kind of person she was before harrowing, the harrowing chapter of her life. It's just the two of us at home. Mom had bad luck with keeping jobs, and she finds it hard to be around people, so she stays at home most of the time. At least she never missed an episode of The Wild Orchard. On her good days, she can manage on her own, but on her bad days, well, I do my best to take to be there for her. Dad left when I was two years old. Haven't heard from him since. Mom doesn't say much, so I stopped asking. Interesting. Okay. All right. I like that we've got some. We got some. Um, what should we get? Some backstory. Okay. Let's get that mop from the supply closet. Okay. 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 Chocolate mousse cake. Ooh. Maybe Bobby wouldn't mind sneaking me a slice. Mm. <laughs> that smell. Oh my god. We're allowed in there. I know. Oh man. God, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What is this? Linda's been See, putting these no to divorce. Lately. Linda has. It's weird that Bernard allows it. Oh god. I can already tell that I don't like this Linda person. Say no to divorce. You can be divorced against your will. What? <laughs> 
Women and children suffer most in divorce. You lose your succession rights in divorce. Wives' pension rights are are lost in a divorce. You lose your right to the family home in, in divorce. Issued by Doc Divorce Oversight Committee. Committee. Um, okay. Damn. I can't, I'm gonna do that every time time. I really want that exit button to be... Oh, shock. Leaving luggage Jacques. in the lobby? Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? It's shock. It's shock, not Shaquise. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this whole time. Shock, not Shaquise. I don't know. I've never seen shock spelled, so I didn't know. Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her and... <laughs> not just guests, apparently. Mm? Oh, God damn it, Linda. I oh. only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job, after all. You don't mm. seem to care whether I'm happy. Oh. Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. Mm. What if she turned up <gasps> Somebody's coming. Money? Somebody's coming! Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killer. <gasps> Andrew! Andrew, hi. I, I was... I mean, I'm sorry. I was just... Spying on our manager? Yes. No. I, I yes, heard I something, and I... Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. I'm just pulling your leg. I'm... I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just... I, I'm not used to having people around me while I work. Mm. Yeah, you're That's always fair. working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. That sounds kind of nice, actually. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. Um, I heard it was a disaster. Actually, Beth called me here. Were you... Uh, were you there at the ball? Were you here Friday night to see the whole thing? Yeah. They had someone in charge of the event, but she ended up crying alone in the stairwell. What the so fuck? I had to take over. What happened? Did it really go so wrong? It certainly didn't go wrong for the people enjoying the party, but... Well, that's good. For those sober around them? Oh. Well, that's another story. Yikes. Good God. I'm glad I didn't have to be there. I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you handle cleaning up after other people all day. There's a romance here as well. Weird stuff, right? There's a romance yeah. as well. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest room? Something very odd, something gross, something about you. Mm. Something very odd. A few months ago, I found stacks of pennies in a room's toilet. <laughs> like, a lot of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? And when I got to the bed, the pillowcases were filled with pennies as well. What the fuck? I'm still not sure if that guest simply had a strange way of leaving a tip. <laughs> Maybe it was a penny robbery. A penny robbery? Amazing. Oh. I, uh, I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. Mm. It's okay. I need to, um... Yeah, mm. alright. Mm. Take care. You too. Ooh, do we have a choice on a romance as well? <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. Make sure the hotel stays accessible to everyone. I'm listening. Oh, I can hardly believe we are from the same family. Okay, Bobby. Bobby is the head chief of the Clarington Kitchen. He takes care of the restaurants. Oh, I gotta move away. Hold on. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta move away. I can't. I can't read when they got two many people talking in my ear. Okay, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Bobby is the head sh uh, chef in the Clarington kitchen. He takes care of the restaurant order and the meals ordered through room service. I love walking by the kitchen doors with a chance to, uh, every chance I get. Just to enjoy the smells of whatever Bobby's cooking up. But linger too long and you will get an earful. Or worse, I do not want to spend uh, another afternoon cleaning macaroni out of my hair. <sighs> Andrew. Andrew is the concierge and receptionist of the Clarington. He's intelligent, professional, kind, and well-mannered. He, uh, which easily makes him Bernard's favorite, but he knows how to have fun when no one is looking. Whenever I see him, he either dashes off on his latest errand or burying himself in a book, so we haven't had a lot of chance to socialize at length. When we do, though, it always feels easy, like talking to someone perfectly attuned to your wavelength. Maybe I could ask him for uh, some book recommendations. It, it would be nice to have uh, more reasons to talk to him. Aww. Get out! Okay. 
Andrew's ambush. Oops, so Andrew caught me eavesdropping on Bernard and Linda, who was once again complaining about Wendy. Thankfully, he didn't make much of a deal out, a big deal out of it. He doesn't seem to be the kind to judge. He actually is quite a nice guy, easy to talk to, fun to tease, and funny on his own quiet way. I love, or I hoped I'll get the chance to talk to him more. I get the sense that there's a lot more to him than he's willing to show. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, all right, I see. Bobby made it very clear he doesn't like anyone walking into his kitchen uninvited. Uninvited. Okay. Um, broom. Do we need both of them or just the just the mop? We got lots of things in here. Holy crap. Okay. All right. Go we'll clean this up. I'm really sorry about that. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay, Sophie. Time to clean up that mess. Get damn mist. Okay, so can we... Yeah, I was gonna say, pick those up. Get that out of here. Throw hey, that away. I better throw that away. <laughs> he said, ew. Oh, wait, how do we... Turn object... Scroll, cycle through interactions. Hmm. I can't seem to do anything with it, though. How do I throw... Oh, I see. Throw away. I see. Okay. What's that? Ooh, film. Can we keep that? Must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Oh. Probably should return it to him. Ooh, okay. Pick that up. All right, now we clean. Clean! Clean, clean. Look at me, I'm a now professional. I'll put the leaves back in the vase, and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Nice. Look at that. Do we need to refill it with water, or are we good? I guess we're good. All done. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do, <laughs> but sadly, that's not within my power. Did I Beth, feel? Who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already. But... Dude, I feel no, for her that's so deeply. Very unlikely. <laughs> Beth said the guest was a Mr. Spade. The film role probably belongs to him. So, which room Ooh. are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Wow, that's a lot of names. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Mr. Spade. Spade, well, Spade. To to my manager's manager. Would you like to there he is. 505. Okay. Mm, sadly. Oops. He doesn't have a phone. He's a bit of an old-fashioned fella, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes? Yes, Do certainly. we need to so first I enter selection mode? Oh. Down, you can kneel down. Okay, right? so it was over here, then though, right? Yeah. Stick. Room 505. Great. That's on my floor. <laughs> I can, I can hear a breath in the background. My it's, um, God, G -O -D. I'm sure I'm he's sure very... He'll be very sympathetic to your plight. <laughs> you you, sir. Oh my god. No, I never dare. I'd never no, dare. I I'm dead serious. If anyone can make the snowstorm end, it's him. True. Uh, hello? <laughs> sir? Oh well. Oh well. I fucking love you. <laughs> you pray really, really hard. It'll go away. I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. I felt bad bugging Beth while she was in the middle of an important phone call, but like always, she came through. The logbook says Mr. Spade's room is in 505. I just, uh, I was just in the middle of taking care of the fifth floor before my break. I can run the, return the film roll and get uh, back to my schedule. Okay. Can I clean this? It's dirty and I'm a maid and I must clean! Clean! Beautiful. This leak really needs to be fixed. Oh, where? I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. Oh, it's back there. Oh, okay. All right, there's a lot of luggage just barricading the area here. I feel like that's a fire hazard, personally. All right. Hold it, please. Oh, 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 Andrew! Hi, buddy. Phew, 
made it. Thanks. Hi. You're welcome. Was it you who cleaned the puddle by the restrooms? Yes. Was I not supposed to? Well, Eugene asked us not to touch anything until he's repaired the leak, but it's probably safer this way. It's a puddle. Someone it's okay. Someone slipped on it. Yeah. Which <laughs> floor? Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. Oh, it looked like we were going down for a second. <laughs> I was like, What's the big wait a minute. Rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest. The one who rented the entire floor. Jesus. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? Other girls complaining about him. Uh, what does he need snow? Isn't he famous? He's sort of a celebrity, isn't he? He sure acts like one. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be that poor assistant he keeps showing. Why do you need snow? I That's a good point. To clean his room. Can you imagine the weird things I'd find? It's true. Be careful what you wish for. I wouldn't be surprised if the man kept a few skeletons in his closet. Ooh. Can't you Mysterious. tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Mm. Only Bernard knows his identity. Um. Weird. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Hmm. Okay, let me think. Oh, now I have to go! Hey, Sit by the oh. bell now! Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say... I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. Is that the hint? <laughs> Who knows? Wait. Fair enough. Have is that a is that you too. a hint or are you being flirty? Because I feel like you were being flirty. Why is that door open? It looks open. Hello? I should return Mr. Spade's film roll. Room 505 is on my list anyway. Okay. I bumped into Andrew again in the elevator. From the sound of it, the VIP guest was on the sixth floor, has him busy with all kinds of strange requests. I tried to press him for information, but he all he gave me was a cryptic... I like to prolong the suspense. I'm dying to know who it is. Andrew uh, clearly knows how to keep a secret. Does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids? <laughs> Chambermaid's guide. So. Sometimes what looks like trash is actually a guest treasured possession. Be careful um, as to what you throw away. Oh, okay. So this is like a tutorial for us. That's nice, actually. First rule, be invisible. Second rule, be thorough. Third rule, be careful. Guests do not want to be disturbed. Uh, accomplish your work as silently and discreetly as possible. Be a shadow. Uh, leave no stone unturned and no cushion or corner unclean. Dust stains and everything must disappear. Mirror, clean mirror, toilet, and bath. Bring used sheets to cart. Put clean towels on shelf. Replace toilet paper rolls if necessary. Empty garbage cans. Throw away trash. Uh, clean tr ashtrays. Oh my god. That was, those were, that, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, clean ashtrays if necessary. Scrub stains, make bed, empty garbage uh, can, throw away trash. Complete cleaning. Um, repeat partial cleaning duties. Vacuum every floor. Dust every surface. Change bed sheets. Your governess may ask you to perform other related duties at any moment. Okay. Who's that guy? Housekeeping. Sophie, oh, okay, this was us. Partial, complete, expect a big mess. Oh, no. Okay. Interesting. I wonder how they know that they're supposed to expect a, a big, big ol' mess. This is a different room, right? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Why is there so many camera rolls? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You're supposed to clean it anyways. Oh, he made a red room! He made a, uh, a film room. Black black room? Black black white room? I forget what they call them. It's been a long time since I worked with film. Um, I did it in high school, but I don't remember what they're called. But it's where you develop the film. Interesting. Yeah, he changed the light bulb so that he could do... He could develop his film. But he left the door open, which... Oh, <laughs> defeats the purpose. 
They're making this seem so much more intense. It's just, well, I guess. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit, that's us! Oh no! Tampering with objects may lead to positive or negative consequences. <gasps> Whoa. That's us! What is this? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, does it- is he making it look like we... stole something? <gasps> Do we take it? Oh shit. Do we take it? I feel like we should take it. Mmm. What does Sophie Maybe think? I should call Beth or Andrew. They'll, they'll know mm. what to do. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I hope mm -hmm. Not. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, we'll come back and clean. <laughs> yeah, don't touch anything yet. Can we get in the hotel reception desk? Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? <laughs> Beth, I need your help. Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's Beth will know on? what to do. I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Really? I knew it! What do you mean you he knew did. it? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over mm. his face, you know? Mm. How did you find out? I found a dark dark room, that's what it's called. You silly. He took pictures of me. I I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room. Pictures of you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Doing what? Um I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Dude, it sounds so much worse when you lead it up like that. <laughs> when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and um you know snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. It's sneaky. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. No, that's a terrible idea. But... Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but... Say a client reports something missing. Mm -hmm. Those pictures would mm -hmm. put a big red target mm -hmm. on your back. Agreed. I can throw the pictures out, so I do nothing? I could always throw them out. Yeah, not your worst idea, but... You found the pictures drying over the bath, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I'm no photographer, but... I've been in one of those dark rooms before. Mm -hmm. You have? Yeah. I modeled for a while. I believe that. Anyway, what I'm getting at is... Those pictures were developed recently. Mm. But it doesn't mean there aren't more elsewhere. Mm. I guess I could keep looking. You want me to snoop? I could hmm. keep looking. I guess I barely looked through his belongings. And he's got pictures of you checking other people's stuff. Why stop Why now? Stop? <laughs> oh, loosen up. She said that. No one's dead. <laughs> Any idea Amazing. where I should start then? Well, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I remember Mr. Spade asking for the combination to his room safe. I mm -hmm, bet you go on. there'll be more pictures in there. Maybe, okay. but I don't have the code. Mm, give me a minute. Merde. Merde. Idiots. Oh no, did they lose the... the combination list? The night staffs probably lost it. Oh shit. Again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Okay. Maybe we gotta snoop for it. We gotta snoop for it. Room. We're gonna find can it. I call you if Mr. Creep comes back? <gasps> Good oh, idea. So can get out of there yes, 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 okay. yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Beth, you're fucking oh, awesome. Something. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please I love keep you. this between us. <laughs> of course. I love you. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. If reception gave him a code, maybe he wrote it down somewhere okay um and then let's see go back one um okay room 50 gray 
Try again. Room 505 greeted me with a sight that I could never have seen coming. A makeshift dark room filled with pictures of me snooping through guests' items. My heart was uh, has never beat so quickly. Should I call the police? I called Beth for help. She convinced me to keep digging and not to make any decisions just yet. Not only have I, I have not until I have a better idea of those of why those photographs of me exist in the first place. After seeing those photos, it's hard for me not to feel someone's watching me while I snoop, but I have to find out more. The safe seems to have a, a logical place to start. Beth thinks our guest may have written down a combination somewhere. Uh, also, what was that? Hold on. What do we got? Okay, more characters. Eugene. Eugene. Eugene is in charge of the hotel's maintenance. Pretty much everyone likes him. He's friendly, hardworking, and does the job well. Anytime I need help, he's happy to lend a hand. Since the renovations started, though, he's his usual good mood has lost some, time, uh, some of its spark. I can see that Bernard's... Uh, lofty expect expectations are weighing on him i just hope that it doesn't burn him out he doesn't deserve that guests oh, okay mr spade oh so mysterious mr spade is a guest here at the hotel he's staying in the room 505 he seems to carry film rolls around and he uh was in such a rush to get somewhere today that he knocked over the vase in the in the lobby but other than that, I don't know much about him. I can't deny that I'm curious to know more. Well, Sophie, you ask and you shall receive. Now I know that Mr. Spade is a stalker, and he's been stalking none other than me. I still can't believe that those pictures of, of me in the bathroom are real. Okay, now we got fucking fun. Look at this. We got clothes. I'm so excited. We're detectives. Three teddy bears, various sizes and colors. They look a little bit burnt. So this is 504, which we just cleaned. Acknowledgement of debt. Okay, so this is just recording everything that we looked at. Good, okay. Bad dad, best dad. I thought I said bad dad. <laughs> Stalker pictures. Pictures of me snooping through guest suitcase. Okay, okay. Can we close this door while we're doing it? Yes. We don't need nobody up in here looking at our shit. What is this? I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. Don't I forget to buy more film. Okay. What is this? The keys? Interesting. Why is the keys here? Is he not... Does he not have the keys? Did I lock him out? Good. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, inspect. What is this? That's rough. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? I understand your situation, and I'm sorry that you have spent so many years in the hospital. However, this does not change the fact that you do not have the qualifications for the job. And even if I did, I, did, I could not hire someone in your situation. Other staff members simply would not feel safe around you. I would ask that you not contact me anymore. Jeremy Sand Sandberger? Sandberg? Sand <laughs> Sandberger. I'm hungry. <laughs> Uh, hey, Weirdo, stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you ever. Mr. Morgan, you know I have a lot of respect for what uh, you and others have done for this country, but I'm not a charity. And if I don't receive the past three months of rent before the end of the month, you uh, will have to vacate the property or the apartment. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. What is happening? My light's just, that was spooky. I think it's because it, yeah, it's 5.30. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Um, I wanted the lights off. Hold on one second. Scared the shit out of me, though. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oops. Damn it. So we got our clues. Everybody seems to be having money troubles. Money troubles. Money. I said problems and troubles at the same time. Money troubles. What is that? Oh! <laughs> cool. Physics. <laughs> okay. Shaving. Yeah, we got shaving cream. Okay. I should bring that back to my cart. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Oops. No. Nope. Eh. No! Nope. I don't want to inspect. I want to peek. Peek it up. Okay. Yeah, I guess because we're supposed to be cleaning, right? French, English, English, French dictionary. Okay. 
What is that? That looked like a mask. What was that? I guess that's just like a shoelace or something. Hopefully we're not on a timer, because that would that would really fucking suck. <laughs> that would not be getting anywhere. What is this? You're pawning off your possessions? What, what do you need, need the, money, the money, for? money for? Well, he just said that he was they were having money trouble with the rent thing. Um okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay, got more clues. What is this? A mirror. A mirror. Um Do you have a red string board going on over here? What the hell? <laughs> What the hell is this? What the fuck? This dude's paranoid. What the shit? Beaver Lake. I took mom skating there just a few weeks ago. Oh shit. Is this your. Oh, spooky. Special occasion wedding funeral? I just visited the oratory for the first time in years. This has to be a coincidence. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Montreal tramway. Ooh, this you are so being stalked. Jacket that mom loves. Were you there too? Oh, you are so I being stalked. Were we ever there Burgers. Burger and a Coke. God, that sounds yummy. Why Harry's? Lots of burger places closer to the hotel. That is so crazy. T30. Oh, that's a nice touch. What the hell? Okay. So I don't think there's anything else. Wow. Unless he's got a very good memory, he must have written down the code that he got from reception. Mm hmm But where? So, okay, so we picked up... Yeah, this is all the f stuff that we picked up. Okay, and then this being tracked. The map on his wall just makes everything weirder. Every thread points to a place that I've visited lately. But what does it mean? Is this a series of wild coincidences or am I really being stalked? And if I am, why me of all people? Okay, so Sophie, just calm down. There, stay calm. There has to be a rational explanation here. I just need to find it. Ooh. Morgan, is that your real name? Why you did you check in under Mr. Spade? Oh, that's right. Yeah, true. You have to stop writing to this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I don't know what happened between you two, but please let your grieve, uh, let us grieve in peace. Thank you, Lindsay's mother. Yikes. Is this, this a floor in Clarington? Mm-hmm. Housekeeping, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Room service nightly, or night, mostly. Hmm. Lobby boys. Okay. Lindsay Franklin. Lindsay was your... What was that again? She was your wife? Lindsay died two years ago. Maybe she was your wife or something? Because it said something over there about how we apologize about, you know, your wife One dying or whatever. Another maid's trash. Trash. Throw away. Throw away. Throw away. I hope you aren't eating those beans. <laughs> nope, you're done with them now, buddy. Who's this? Um, request to move to 507. Why did, did you, you want to change? change rooms? That's weird. Present letter to confirm the reception of your transferred request to room 507. Regrettably, the room in question is currently occupied by an extend extended stay guest. We are therefore unable to grant your request. Thank you for your understanding. Please contact us if you have another request. Interesting. Oh, wait. Can I... Is there anything on the... Oh, hello? Lindsay's address. What does it say? Infantry Division Year of Hospital Discharge. What? 
What? I thought I saw binoculars swimming around somewhere. I did! I knew I did. So maybe he needs a better... What do we have here? Ooh, okay. I don't know what we need that for yet, but... Um... Yeah, maybe he needed a better view from 507 or something? Can I clean that? Or... Oh. I need to find some clues to decipher that code reminder. Hmm? What you talking about, Willis? Do not forget to take your pills. There's lots of reminders. Is that just the Bible? The Bible. Okay. Turn off. Shh. Oh. Oh wait. Can I get something? We got that suitcase what? here. Oh, okay. So we there can get that. Has to be a key somewhere. Huh. Infantry, 99th Infantry in Belgium, 44. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we have the key that's over here. Can I not clean this mess up? That's annoying. I'm a maid. I'm supposed to clean. This I can... You. Off. The storm must be getting worse. I hope mom's not too bored without her TV shows. Okay, there we go. That's better. <sighs> um, we will open the suitcase. What's in here? Is that a body? <laughs> what is this? Not a lot. Okay. So we got some socks. We got some shoes. We have a... Paul, 42. Who's Paul? You spent 10 years in a psychiatric hospital. Oh! And it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses. Yikes! Patient, patient um, initially admitted for nervous breakdown. Patient displayed erratic behavior and mood swings occasionally aggressive. Patient non-responsive to shock treatment. E. Neither insulin nor electric. Yikes. Patient condition improved after new medication. Hmm. Damn. Paul Morgan. Oh, so that's you? Yeah, that's you. Oh, Paul Morgan. Interesting. Nothing else is in there? Can't move the clothes around or anything? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Close the thing. Hurry. I'm coming. Is he here? He... what? No. What? <laughs> God damn it, Beth! <laughs> he was coming back to his room. Oh, yeah, I did say that. Sorry for the fright. Oh my god, Beth, you scared me! I nearly had a heart attack when I heard the phone ring. I didn't mean for it. I was just so caught up in the thrill of it all. I had to check in. Did you find more pictures of you? No, but I did find a map. I was just about to open the safe. No, I haven't. But I did find something else. Yeah? He's got a kind of yarn map of Montreal on the wall. A yarn map? And where does it lead to? Lots of places. Yeah. Most of them I've visited recently. Merde. What's the deal with this guy? I don't know! Mr. Spade isn't his real name. Yeah, true. I think you may be using an alias. I found some evidence that points to his real name being mm -hmm, Paul mm -hmm, Morgan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, he's certainly not the first man to check into a hotel under also a fair. Name. Yes. Is it really common practice? It is when the man in question is married, but the woman accompanying him isn't. Is not. Or yep. at least not to him. Mm -hmm. mm. Considering the state of his room, I doubt Mr. Morgan was expecting any visitors. Agreed. Did you find anything else? Um, he had unrequited feelings for Seems a woman. Seems to be yeah. in love with this woman who doesn't love him back. You mean you? No, no, <laughs> someone else. I found lots of letters addressed to a woman named Lindsay, mm. but she returned them all to sender. Oh, I'm, I didn't even notice that. Are you sure it's love and not 
Obsession? Considering? Maybe he stalked her like he's stalking you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Whatever it is, I find it strange she didn't open the letters before sending them back. But Lindsay died. I had a look at them first. <laughs> of course you would have. So, is that all you found then? I guess so. I'll know I'll more know soon. more once I open the safe. Oh, so you found the combination? Yeah. So Did I? I'm impressed. Well done, Arsène Lupin. What? <laughs> uh, never mind. Don't let me keep you. Okay, I'll call you back. Yeah, you better. <laughs> I won't call again unless Mr. Morgan returns. Good. Uh, For real this time. Uh -huh. For real this time. Thank you, ma'am. Scared the shit out of me. Okay, wait. I found... Address. Division. Year. Mmm. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, so... Beth was right. Our guest did write down the save combination, or at the very least a reminder of it. I'm hoping that it, by looking around 505, I might be able to find the clues to decipher it. Time to play detective. Let's go. Okay, the phone rings. Uh, the phone ringing may have have been the sound of a like a gunshot for how much it spooked me. I picked up expecting reception to tell me that Mr. Spade was on his way back up, but it was just Beth eager to tell uh, to hear more about what I found. I appreciate her investment, but I had to make her promise not to call here again uh, bearing, a, bearing a real emergency. This whole thing is far too nerve-wracking. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... 94 you had let's see what was this this guy 99th division what was it nine it was uh infantry something shoot i gotta look i need to find some clues to decipher that code reminder um what was it address division address division yeah. year okay so division is 99 Year is 1944. Address? Um, is there an address here? Attending physician? No, this one didn't have anything either. So what address? Lindsay's address? Maybe? Um, 34, maybe? And it said year. Is it talking about year, like, the year she died? When would that have been? Let's see. There's also 725. But that was to... Yeah, that was to us. 725. So 34 is still where Lindsay would have been. But what year? 58? Okay, so 1958, so two years ago from then, maybe? Gah, okay. So, address would have been 34. And then, what is it, AD? Okay. Um, division is 99. Okay, and then year would have been 56, right? Maybe? Damn it. Damn it. 34, I think I'm right on the first two, but what would the year be? Year of hospital discharge. Lindsay's address, infantry division. That's when I was not a, okay. Now I understand. Okay, so year of hospital discharge. Okay, when did you get out of the hospital? 57. Okay. 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 Yeah! There we go! Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, what the hell is this? What is this? That's just more film. Okay. What the hell is this? H. M and H. Who are they? 
are the guests here? I have no idea. Arrived at the hotel, 12.30 a.m. on in 58, which is this year. Um, arrived at the hotel, room not ready yet, had to wait in the lobby. M and H came in, both dressed nicely. M was holding a flower bouquet. Um, heard them talking to the receptionist, saying how the, uh, nice the oratory was. Picked up some flyers to find, find out the, what oratory they were talking about. We're finally ready. No sign of m and Decided to unpack and install my setup in the bathroom. Still no sign of m and Have probably gone out again. Finished developing the afternoon's pictures. Unable to sleep. Heard weird noises from the corridor. No, no idea who or what it is. Uh, D to turn the page. You're going through their trash? You really want to find out what m and What the are, hell? Don't you? Found a pawn shop to get some money, but no idea where m &H went. Okay, so he's got money to stay at the hotel from pawning stuff. Back in my room, we'll have to kill time until m &H returns. Spot an m &H entering the hotel in the, uh, with Weston shopping bags. Found m &H eating at the hotel restaurant. H left for the bathroom. M exchanged a few words with a woman and her child. m &H left the restaurant. Probably turning in for the night while leaving H emptied pockets into trash. Searched the trash, found receipts from place from a place called Harry's Diner with drawings and weird symbols on it. Took a coffee at Harry's Diner, showed picture of M and H to waitress, waitress remembered them, said M used to be a regular about ten years ago. Back in my room, tried mapping um oh I didn't catch the top of this. Quick breakfast, taxi tried to follow. Okay. Uh, back in my room, tried mapping m &H's movement since their arrival at Montreal. Unable to sleep again. Heard someone exiting room 507, but did not hear the elevator. Hmm. Why are you following them? m &H arrived at the hotel. At so many questions. Literally. Hotel restaurant for breakfast. m &H left the hotel and got into a taxi. Followed them in a place called Mount Royal. m &H went skating for a fr on the frozen some small frozen lake. Okay, so this isn't us. Unless that is us. That's not us. We're Sophie. That, we're not M. Uh, fell on the ice while trying to take a picture. H might have seen me. m &H ate at the lounge and uh, left a ticket on the table. Ticket was a weird symbol on it, it just like Harry's diner receipt. m &H decided to leave because of the snowstorm. m &H arrived at the hotel shortly after me. H looked angry. Something happened during the taxi, taxi ride, but what? No matter... No sign of m and H since early afternoon. Tonight, we'll try to find out who's sneaking out tonight. Tonight we'll, tonight we'll try to find out who's sneaking out at night. Do what? Okay, Sophie, you should probably put this down. <laughs> now. Okay. Interesting. We need to close that. Because none of that is ours. Okay. Uh... M and H. Maybe Beth can mm, find the mm, mm -hmm. Good point, good point. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hold on. Mm. Andrew. Andrew, cover for me, will you? What's going on? Hey, Tintin. Just do it. Tintin! Sorry about that. So, I take it you open Morgan's safe? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A journal. His journal? Does he say why he's stalking you? No, but it seems he's stalking mm. two other people as well. Mm -hmm. oh, who are he they? does have pictures yes. of you, but he's not. I don't know their He's names, not looking. I, I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Well, Snoopy. Although mm. it may seem like it, I'm not actually clairvoyant, so I'll need something to narrow the search. Do I mean, you it's know M and H. They refer to as M and H. Mr. Morgan refers to them as H. An M. Well, that could mean a lot of things. It could be their initials, or a oh, husband and know. mistress. Husband yeah. Husband and mistress. True. Oh, I, I hadn't thought of that. True. Yeah. I'll need a. I mean, you can still call. look. Hmm. Um, I found a request transfer. They're a From couple. From what I can gather, it seems they're together. 
Okay, so they must be staying in the same room. Mm -hmm. Do we mm -hmm. have a lot of couples at the moment? Uh, well, yes. It's it Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day True. last Friday, remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, indeed. Hmm, would you look at that? What? What? There's a couple staying in room 509. <gasps> Hector and Marcella, okay. Marcella Cruz. Look at us. Marcella. H and M. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you know about the cruises? What is the do you know answer? anything about the cruises? Well, I saw them come in and out of the hotel a few times. Called a taxi mm -hmm. for them once. Mm -hmm. The missus does the smiling and the other frowns a lot. Mm -hmm. Nothing to write home about. Do you have room 509 on your to-do list by any chance? I do actually. Good point. And maybe you go clean it and have a little. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm Nothing with Beth. Here. I like Just Beth. A maid cleaning. <laughs> Nothing That's to see. Oh my I'll call you if I find anything. Just be careful, okay? Okay. okay. I promise. Oh, I was gonna close the suitcase and all that. That's fine. Amazing. Just doing my job. I'm a cleaning lady just doing her job and I like to do my job. Oh, you don't have your keys. You left your keys. I must have forgotten my keys in the Oh, shoot. Again. That's fair. Okay. All right. On that very suspenseful note, I am going to leave it here for today. Um, if you guys are enjoying this playthrough, if you're wanting to see more of the bed, this bed that we made, this bed we made, I can say the title, swear to God. Anyways, <laughs> if you're enjoying this um, and you want to see more, please give the video a like. Uh, let me know down in the comments, all that good stuff. And if you're enjoying my content, feel free to subscribe. I have a fancy little button down there um, and I would really appreciate the support. But yeah, um, until I see you guys again for another spooky mystery we're solving. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.